So in today's exciting video, I'll be trading this giveaway account of 96 cents. This is Leslie's account, by the way. Um, it's a giveaway account and I'm going to be trading it to at least 1,000. So given that there are good setups and analysis in the market, if I'm able to find more entries, then we should be done in a day or so. But if there are bad setups, if they don't respect my 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 decisions or the market structure which i would have set up then it might take even more time um it might take days or even up to weeks like my other videos they take up to a lot of days because there will be less setups which i can trade and i always trade setups which are in trend format in the market structure so do subscribe to my channel and if you want to um, qualify for a giveaway account just sign up using the link in my description then I will just check on my dashboard like I have done here with Leslie's account. So do pay close attention so that you can also be able to trade um, one of your small accounts using these things, all right? So I'll be going slow by slow so that everyone can get the part of it, all right? So we're going to be starting with um, Volatility 100, 1 ASE in the M5. So... What I'm going to do here is that I'm going to put a buy, alright? Why am I buying here? Because I'm expecting that after the breakout of this trend line, it has to go up again to hit the trend line to make a fake out. That is why I'm putting a buy here. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, a triangle, right? No, it's a rising wedge. It's more of a rising wedge here. So... You can see that it mostly goes down. But then after the breakout, the pullback must come on that area to get in the trend line to make a fake out. So it might even stay a long time on, on, on the upside point up there rather than the downside. It looks simple here, but it won't go down that easy because we are in the 5-minute time frame. So the 5-minute time frame is not to be trusted as most of the time it gives false signals all right this is why i use high time frames but when i'm scalping i usually know these things but it doesn't mean i'm always correct um in most of the time sometimes i'm not but in most cases i will be correct on what i'm saying so here i'm trading a, a retest right so there's a breakout here and then there's a retest which has to go up so the next thing you can do after um, getting in the trade is just wait a couple of minutes. Since we are scalping on a very small account, we need to be precise. Get in, get profit, get out. Just like that. Okay, so we wait. After some time, we can see it did go up to make a fake out there. It did go up to the trend line. So what I would do here is I'll close my positions so that I can build the account, right? So after building the account, it means your account can accumulate more positions, right? It can accumulate more positions. That is why I always close some profit. But I'm not saying that when the price I'm slightly make a move, slightly make a move and make profit, then you quickly close. Nah, that's, that won't be trading. That would be just um, gambling. But do you know what I like more about this broker derif? Is that it has low spread. So which means just a small movement. You would have made profit or you would have made loss. So this is why I like trading volatilities. If you also love trading volatilities as you are seeing in this video. You can just sign up for the broker and start trading volatilities just like that. I do like them. So someone said I stopped trading the volatilities. Oh no. I have been trading. I just haven't been posting. I have been trading since then. It's just that I wanted to post more videos about the funded space. So, on the funded space, I'll be posting the, the video again when I put a trade. Right now, I haven't. I was trading this giveaway account. So, stay tuned, all right? So, what will I do here now that it is um, hit there? What will I do? So it seems that it is a rising wedge, right? And rising wedges, they do go in the trend line and then keep going down is in the arrow. So I then put my cell over there because I am expecting that it should go down, all right? I'm expecting that it will go down. 
because um, it did not actually make a fake out. It just touched the train line, but then it closed um, outside the train line, not inside. So it has to actually go down. So basing on that, that is how I'm I'm able to make my analysis. So after waiting, um, I've actually made profit. I added a position and made profit, and then I quickly close. After closing, the account is being built. Is being built. So now I can put um, more sales because um, I think the next step stage is for it to go down. All right. So the best thing now I can do is wait. All right. So after waiting, it seems that I had more of a surprise than I thought. I had more of a surprise. It seems as if price did go down just a little bit and then it blew. It blew my account here. It blew my account. So now we are back to zero. We are actually back to zero. But then, but then Leslie here, Leslie here, um, he had something else to say. So, because of this, she had actually um, deposited again. She actually deposited and I thought she deposited in cents. No, she deposited um, 20, sorry, a 20. So, using a 20, it will be, be much faster and easy for me to, to raise it. So, now I have to actually revenge trade because... I'm a bit angry because of this little scenario which happened here. I wasted my time and my effort all for it to blow my account. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make this broker um, speed some money, some more money and even faster than um, how I had planned. And after that, we're going to do a bonus round because of this, because I did not like how I blew my account. I mean, why would it go up? Like, why would it go up when it's supposed to go down? why would it go up or maybe i used the second tp well that's the boring part about the second tp that was the second tp if you notice if it was the first tp it would have it would have um, completed them it would have been reached but the second tp but still my money is my money i mean less money by the way that's less money by the way which um went into thin air and we were left with one cent but anyway We'll be starting afresh again so after she deposited i decided to use a more lethal strategy you know the bb strategy right i decided to deploy it immediately immediately because when i want to take money i always use it so in order for my bb strategy you can go in my so i'm going to test the signal by first ball if they are as correct as they seem so we are going to be using um, gold USD. Let's use gold USD. And from the market analysis, we can see in the one minute time frame that um, it's currently going downtrend. And you can see the sell setup here. They send a sell. And this is the setup. Okay. I started to zoom in so that we can see clearly. Um, this is the H4. So. These are the notes if you want to read um, the reason for the sell. So they sell gold and the price is there and the stop loss. So let's check if this is accurate. If it's actually selling, all right? So it seems as if from that moment, from there, the market was in, in uptrend and then it changed direction for a bit there. So we are drawing our trend lines. So now we have a bearish flag. So on our bearish flag, I can notice that the first TP was reached. So the first TP has been reached, right? Now we go for the second TP. So that's when most um, most traders fail, yeah, because they will just sell. But you have to understand something here. Yeah? I have explained it in um, my other videos that when the first TP is reached, it has to bounce, all right? So it has to bounce from that point and go at least somewhere there it can just go down so from at least there and then it drops so that's what happens so if you go full margin you might end up blowing your account anyway let's go full margin on your account here so um the signal 
seems um, correct provided the analysis here anyway my telegram group and whatsapp i'm sure it's there i put it there so i had to buy there because i've explained it in most of my videos that when it touched the 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 down bollinger band there which is the bottom bollinger band and there is a break out of the trend line it means there's going to be a retest which is going to probably go in the trend line so then i to go full margin because what had been done um it annoyed me a little bit it annoyed me so like i said a slight movement since there's low spread we get huge profit and also a slight movement in the opposite direction kaboom you won't have any money to trade so when you're trading do be careful that um, the money you are getting, you can also lose it. So do bear that in mind. Um, this trading is all um, flowers and I don't know. It's not as, as, as easy as one would, would think or see in this video. It's actually very hard. So I urge you to practice, all right? See a couple of videos and then practice. So after some time, I came back to the same setup because it's still a good setup for more trades so i'm planning to to enter a buy again here because i don't really believe that it's going to go down it's not going to go down right it went to touch the the trend line it went to touch the trend line so what i would do here is that in the one hour time frame it means it's still going to go up it hasn't made a fake out there but it has to because do you know why because this is a flag right and what happens with this flag is that mostly um it looks like a bearish flag right so which means it's supposed to go up so it goes for the stop losses of the early or the early buyers which is the why it broke the trend line going down once so it will be trying to reach for the nearest um area of influence then it will bounce back going up so then I will buy and then wait. So after a lot of waiting, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. We have made some progress, right? Let's not blow the account. Since we are trying to revenge, let's not blow the account. So when you go to the H4 here, you can see clearly why it's supposed to buy, right? So if you look at the previous um, green candle, it's a hammer, right? So this hammer, if it was full on on the downside, if it did not leave a week um, there, it would mean that it will have full bullish power, right? Full bullish. No, it won't be bullish. It will be bearish, right? It will be bearish. But then there is a still a small week there. So it's indicating that it's not fully bullish power. It's not fully it's partly so it's not that strong but we can take the fact that it closed outside the trend line it closed outside the trend line so outside the trend line it means the next candle might try to go down but at the end of the day it goes up all right it goes up because our previous candle failed to break so the next candle it might break out of character just to hit the stop loss that's all then come back up so i'll enter again as i've done here and then wait since there was a false break out there you see it it tried to break going downwards and then it came back up making it a fake out right so what happens with fake outs is that it will continue to go up to that level where I've put the shadows on. It will continue to go up there to touch the trend line. And then after that, it will go down. I don't know. It always does that in most of the scenarios I trade on. So here, we are going to sell. All right. Like I've said, when there is a fake out, it goes the complete opposite direction to touch the trend line. After that, it reverses. It goes down. So sell, Baba. Let's go down. Let's go. Man, I love the volatilities. 
do try them if you even do try them just sign up and, tr and try them you you'll be amazed one slight movement boom you are eating a lot of chunks profits right we need to be lions in this game we need to take we need to take right so um after waiting again We are down and then we finally close on 1000 we finally close on 1000 but then yes we have reached our goal but then there was a punishment bonus move there's a punishment bonus move for blowing our three dollars you still remember our three dollars which we worked very hard for right we worked very hard for that three dollars more than we're working hard for this one so in order to revenge the death of that three dollars we go full margin we risk the whole one thousand just to revenge for a three dollars we do that we are all in this in, in 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 this trading thing because you know losing your money you'll be trying to go full margining to gain some more money so yeah i understand i am petty but i do want the money especially the the, the one which um this volatility took from me so i want it to our full margin because i know that at the end of the day um, we will end up in profit if our setup is very very clean i always talk to those who i'm trading the giveaway accounts that anytime i can blow your account so we need to get in a, into an agreement so because these things happen in trading okay these things happen a lot if you know a trader who says i haven't blown an account and i don't blow he's lying he is lying all right we also make mistakes and some of the mistakes can cost us to blow the account all right so after waiting you see it went down just as i've said it went down it went up to to make a fake out but then it closed inside the trend line indicating a sell power so now we can close our bonus round here our bonus round so for every dollar we decided to make it hundred dollars for the punishment to match the bonus all right so there we go there we go we close let's close baba so for more giveaway accounts just sign up use using the link so that when i'm able to use the the dashboard i can see your account and select so it, right now i have two more i'm supposed to be trading so i'll we'll be seeing you in the next video stay tuned and for the funded space i'm also going into that so if you haven't joined um i hope you do because this is our last round to 500k this is our last round so i'm sure with two trades two setups um it should it all should be fine so cheers